Good day everyone, my name is Emmanuel Ginebu Moseno. My name is CJ Renoa Arheronimo from Grade 10 Einstein. Today, we will present to you our Performance Task 2.1 video tutorial. For our objectives, number one, solve problems involving angles between two lines. Number two, solve problems involving division of line segments. Now, for the angles between two lines, for our problem, we have to find the interior angles of the polygon whose vertices are G, 1.5 comma negative 11, E, 1.5 comma negative 5, O, 10 comma negative 3, M, 10 comma negative 30, and then classify the polygon. So in our graph, we have here a trapezoid. A trapezoid who has a quadrilateral who is a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides parallel. Now, for our solution, I present to you the angles angle G with the initial side GE and the terminal side GM, angle E with the initial side GE and terminal side EO, angle O with the, with the initial side EO and the terminal side MO, angle M with the initial side GM and terminal side MO. Now, to get the slope, we have to find first the delta y over delta x or or we can write it as y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1 which will be our formula. Now here we can see that the initial side GE has an undefined has an undefined number. That's because the denominator of the GE is 0 and also the denominator of the MO is also 0. That's, that's why we have the given slopes 4 over 17 for EO and negative 4 over 17 for GM, which will then be used in finding the angles of the trapezoid. For us to get the final answer, we have to first get the angles. We will determine the angle by determining the tan arc of 4 over 17, which is 13 degrees. Now, for the slope of GM, we'll also do the same thing with it for the slope of EO. By, de by determining the tan arc of negative 4 over 17, which then would be negative 13 degrees. Now, since it is 13 degrees, we have to add 180 for it to be positive. Then the answer would be 166.7 degrees or 167 degrees. Which, which then, if we add 13 plus 167 degrees, it would be 180. Now, the reason why 13 degrees is, is on uh, point G, point, point E, is because uh, we use the angle, we, we use the slope 4 over 17, and then for, because they are congruent, and then for the angle 167, we put it on O and M because they are also congruent. The next part is a division of line segment. The first problem is to find the point of the lines passing through A, negative 1, comma, negative 1, and B, 4, comma, 4, which is twice as far from A as from B. To illustrate the given, um, the two points is given, which is point A and B, and an external point, which is C, which is based from the statement of twice as far from A as from B. So, to determine the solution of this problem, we must first need to know the ratio, which is 2, because it is said, again, that it is twice as far from A as from B. So, 2 is to 1, or 2. And next is we need to substitute the given to the formula of x sub 1 plus r quantity x sub 2 minus x sub 1 and y sub 1 plus r quantity y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So here, we will substitute the given of negative 1 plus the ratio 2 and quantity 4 plus 1 and simplify it by adding 4 plus 1 into 5 and multiplying it by 2 and negative 1 plus 10 is equal to 9. And this is the same as in y due to the fact that the given is mostly similar the of similar of x and y's and which will result into the point c of 9 comma 9. To further check our answers if it is correct, we will determine the distance between the three points for points negative 1 comma negative 1 and 4 over 4 and lastly 9 comma 9 and the distance of negative 1 
negative one comma negative one to four negative four comma four is seven point zero seven units, and the distance between negative one comma negative one and nine comma nine is fourteen point four units, which further clarifies that our statement is correct. Oh, you're so good, Evan. How did you get your answers? Ah, no, ako lang yan ang jump sa tabi tabi. Ako rin may jump ako. Eh. <laughs> Ano ang hatest to- Ano ang hatest topic ni Gojo Satoru? Ah, uh, ano? Eh di division line segment. <laughs> <laughs> Grabe ka naman kay Gojo. Well, anyways, thank you all for listening to us. Um, once again, my name is CJ Renoa Arredimo. And once again, I'm Emmanuel Gina Pomoseno. We presented to you our performance task 2.1 for the subject analytic geometry. Oh, yeah! <laughs>